Welcome to Biology Access. In today's class, I'm taking introduction to crossing. But before crossing, you will be required to know how to form gametes. If you are new to this uh, channel, please find this, hit the like button and subscribe so that you get notification on new videos. In gamete formation today, I'll be talking about monohybrid cross, I mean, how we form gametes in monohybrid, in dihybrid cross, trihybrid, as well as tetrahybrid. First, you have to know the number of gametes that is produced in monohybrid cross. It is not just choosing arbitrarily that is two or that is four. No, there's a formula. You have to know the number that is produced by a single parent in the hybrid, trihybrid, and all that. So the formula for the number of gametes that is produced by a single parent is two raised to the power n in Mendelian genetics or in genetics is two raised to the power n. So for monohybrid cross, n is one. For the hybrid cross, n is two. For trihybrid and so on and so forth. So, for the hybrid cross, how many gametes will be produced by a single parent? It's 2 raised to the power 1, which is 2. So, if we have the tall person being crossed with a short person, we now have this is the gamut that is produced by this single parent, and this is also the gamut that is produced by this one single parent. Why for the number of gamut that is produced by the single parent for the hybrid cross is 2 raised to the power 2, 4, and the same goes for Trihybrid as well as what well, tetrahybrid, which is 2 is to the power 4. Tetrahybrid is 4. So 2 is to the power 4 is what 16. So how do we form this gamut? That brings us to the what? Gamut formation. If this is the parent having an analogy, this is a uh, gene pair. The gamut that is formed is T and small t. And this is the gamut to put it inside it to, indicate, to indicate that it's actually a what the gamut. But the hybrid cross is not as simple as this. You pick the first pair, just like this, you put it here. Then the second pair has to be attached to each of the first what, pair, or each of the first uh, gamut. This is capital letter T and small letter T. Then this second pair will be attached to each of these, and this. So we now have this attached to this, attached to this. How will you now get the gamut? You pick this and this. This is the first gamut that is produced. Capital letter T and small letter T. This is the second gamut that is produced. Small letter T and capital letter B. This is the third gamut that is produced. And small letter T and small letter B. This is the fourth gamut that is produced. The number of gamut is always the number of letter that is here. You can see it's four. And it still corresponds with the words. number of gamut that is produced in the hybrid cross. Before we go, or trihybrid cross. If you carry out a monohybrid cross, for example, I, I, I can ask you for this monohybrid cross. I can ask you what is the probability of having a capital letter T or a tall or a, a gamut that have a tall gene. This is a tall gene and this is a short word gene. So what is the probability of having a gamut in monohybrid cross for this particular word trait? What is the probability of having a gamut with a tall gene? The formula for probability is required at home, all of our words, total at home. That is the formula for what probability. So what is the required at home? Tall gene. And it's one. What is the total at home? One, two. So probability of having a tall gene in a garment for this trait is actually what? One over two. You can try to convert it to decimal, which is 0 0.5 using your calculator, or you can try to convert it to percentage. Which is 50 watt percent multiply this one over two times what 100. And you have what? 50 watt percent. Alright? Now, for this, you can see, do the same calculation. You can do the same calculation, and in this case, I can ask you what is the probability of having a garment that have a tall gene as well as a big size. This B stands for size. Let's assume that this is for chubby or for fat, and this is for what? Slim. Alright? So, if I ask what is the probability of having a garment that has a tall gene as well as size that is what large or for chubby? In this case, we can decide to ask what is the required outcome for this case. The required outcome is actually what? 1. And what is the total outcome for? If I now ask again, what is the probability of having a 
small letter T and a small letter B for among the words the gamut is the same thing. This is what we are required. This is the required aspect, which is one, and this is what we require for four. Right? Now let's quickly take a look at trihydrate cross, how to get gamut from trihydrate cross. Now for trihydrate cross, it's actually a cross that involves what? One word. Not just one character, not just two characters, but what three characters. For monohybrid cross, the cross that involves one character. For dihybrid, two. For trihybrid, three. So take a look at it. This is trihybrid cross. Let's assume that this is actually for height. This is actually for color, and this is actually for what? Size. Let's assume that this in this height, this is dominant. For the word, some of you may not be used to the word dominant. Dominant means a character that is expressed in the presence of another one that is what suppressed. While recessive means that a character that is suppressed in the presence of another one that is what expressed. So if we have this organism, this organism is actually, if it's a P plant, for example, and it's obeying Mendelian's law, it means that this organism will actually be what tall. Just by the presence of this short gene. This one will suppress this short gene, uh, this short gene, and this organism will be top. So take note of the word dominance and word recessive. So for trihydrate cross, let's take a look at how gamut is formed. We pick the first pair, separate them as usual. The second pair has to be attached to each of the first pair. So I'll attach these two to this, which is capital letter A and small letter A. And I also attach the same capital letter A and small letter A to the same. Now, for the third one, it has to be attached to each of these, this, and this, and this. Just the way we attach the first one. So we now have capital letter B and small letter B being attached to this, like that. Also attached to this, attached to this, and attached to this. Then, once you have done that, we have this is trihybrid because you have represented the theory word character. So we now have to pick out what the gamut. This is capital letter A, capital, uh, capital letter C, capital letter A, and capital letter B. This is one gamut. One, two, three. This is the second, third, the fourth. The fourth, you can get it. This is capital letter C, small letter A, and small letter what? B. B represented So you do the same for these three. This, this, and this is present here. You realize that you have what? Eight. Different types of words gamut possible in this word case. Eight different types of words gamut possible in the words this case. This is the formula. The number of gamut produced by a single parent, you can see it here, is what? Eight. That is if you want to carry out a person. And what is the number of gamut that you use for crossing this trihydrate cross? It's actually what? Eight. Please take note. It's not as if. More gamut cannot be produced, but in carrying out process using pure square for both the hybrid, monohybrid, as well as the hybrid cross, you have to use eight gamut for the hybrid, two gamut for monohybrid, as well as four gamut for what the hybrid. Now, if in this case you are asked what is the probability of having a gamut that is either, or let me use a simple one first, that is. That has a small letter T, a small letter E, and a small letter word B. You look through. First, what is the required atom? This is the required atom. And what is the total atom? You can't. In this case, you can decide to use one as the required atom. This is the required atom. And eight as what? The total word atom. You can also convert to percentage as well as what? Yes. But I can decide to ask you a different question. What is the probability of Having either a capital letter A, T, and B, all capital letter, or a capital letter what? A small letter A, T, and what? B. So in this case, the star is simply additional of what? Is this plus this? And you have what? Two all over what? Which is the same as one all over what? So what? These are more of mathematical um, knowledge than what? Knowledge of what the data was genetics. If you have any question, you can drop it in the comment section. If there's any area that you need explanation, you can drop it in the comment section and I'll attend to that. In my next video, I'll be talking about 
how to carry out what mono hybrid cross using pinet square, the hybrid cross using pinet square, or using the three diagram method, either of them can be used as well as in the uh, hybrid cross. Thank you.